It's 9.30 and we have to be out of the room in 30 minutes, so I'm already packed up, we just have to like put everything in the car and I have to like get dressed, brush my teeth, just do a once over, check, make sure I packed all my stuff up. It's so weird because I actually wake up kind of early when we're here, so it's kind of weird. We still have a little bit to bring to the car, but we're mostly ready to go. I'm so hungry. We finished packing, checked out of our room, and went to some family's house for a little while, and we watched the space launch. It was so fun. This is Ace. While we were at Marmy's house, we played with their little baby chicks and their big chickens and all the animals and some kids in the neighborhood, and it was so much fun. And can you get mine off the island? It's plugged in. Hi guys, so we're in the chicken coops and um, they just got chicks, little baby chickies, and they're, they're so cute. Hold on. I'm holding the gun. So, we, they don't have names yet. I don't know if they name their chickens. They use them for eggs, though. They're so cute and so fluffy. It's been forever since I've held the baby chicks, since like third grade when we had them in our classroom. Wait, Megan, what's that? They're so oh, cute. Want to hold them? Yeah. Okay. Hold them close to your chest in case he tries to jump. Okay. at Marmy's house we went back to the resort and checked into our new room so here it is it was a very beautiful room <laughs> So we switched our rooms, we still have to like bring everything up and unpack, but we have a pretty nice view of the ocean still. So we can it's like a people. parking lot and like the ocean, and then our rooms are really nice. It's decorated much nicer than the other one was. I'm pretty excited about this room. Now we have a lot of unpacking to do, so. Okay, I unpacked, got all of my drawers, well, all, all nice. I just, it's hard to organize everything, but because I know I'm gonna go through it, so like I don't really care that much. But got my draw of like my makeup, my snacks, my personal stuff, my shorts, some shirts, some more shirts, some sweatpants, everything, and my clothes, which I have more clothes, so I might have to use two drawers. I don't know if everyone's okay with it, if they don't need it. And then I have underwear hey and guys, you wanna say no! good morning? No! Say good morning. Good morning, no pants. Step out on the balcony so I can update you guys without everybody watching me. 
we were gonna go swim in the ocean today, but it's apparently really, it's not that rough, but apparently the rip currents are really bad today and this week. So we're not sure if we should go, especially because we have a lot of little kids and obviously we want everyone to be safe, but also in our new room, we're on floor five. So we have a pretty view of the ocean, except I am afraid of heights. Like I'm right on the edge of the balcony right now and this railing doesn't mean anything, like it just scares me. I love how every time I talk about food now I say got the goods, but I mean we did. Got the goods. Okay, so <laughs> Oh god. Okay, so we're gonna go work out and then I have my bathing suit on. I have a bathing suit on under <laughs> this so I can jump in the pool after. Here's some of my vacation outfits. Go follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Groceries are here. There's so many. Oh my goodness. And of course we're trying to eat food right now, but now we're gonna unpack them just to be nice and help out. So yeah, this is a lot of groceries and we have a lot of unpacking to do. <laughs> we are cleaning up and um, putting away the groceries just to help out. So I'm gonna clean up everybody's garbage. I literally feel like a mom. Now I know I know why my mom has so many mental breakdowns when I was a little kid. <laughs> now I know what it feels like to be a mom and I wish I didn't. <laughs> Everybody leaves everything everywhere. Like you just are constantly cleaning up messes. I'm just trying to clean up and make everything kind of nice for when the actual moms come home. I'm trying to give them a little break. Why does everybody have to leave garbage everywhere? It's so annoying. Like, now I know why your mom gets so pissed at us. I mean, like, I throw away my garbage, but most of the people in this house don't. Like, look at all the- Like, look, look at all the damn cups. Look at all these cups. Now I can see why they're mad at us all the time. <laughs> I clean up my garbage, but- <laughs> I love how it's literally 10 p.m. You can't see me because it's dark. There's a car coming. And, um, we're going to the Surf City Pier. Tonight for dinner. Hi, hi. It's so pretty. So pretty. No. This way. Eleanor, no. And then we go all the way down here. And we have some grills and we're grilling up some dinner. We get to eat over here. Except you can't really see the ocean from the grill the picnic tables, which sucks, but see now you can't see it. A little bit from over there, but let's go grill some dinner. this early in a very very long time it's like 8 30 which is very early for me my hair what is going on with my hair <laughs> oh my god
crashing again right now. Right now we're looking for one underneath the bridge. My guess is it's gonna be behind the guardrail because that's like always where they are. <laughs> oh, it opened. Shit. So we can sign the logs. Whoa, Whoa, this one's old. Look how, that, that must have been here for a very long time. Uh, like it looks like a mint tin. YouTube.com slash Mike McFun TV. We are geocaching again. This time it's bringing us by the trees. So I feel like this is gonna be a little bit harder to find. What? The hint was angry tree. Yeah. Bruh. What kind of tree is an angry tree? Okay, we found this down. one. This time it's a bigger it one. This is the biggest one we found oh, yet. Are we allowed to take? Yeah, we have to ahead. trade something. This one is a bit of a bigger one, so there's some stuff to trade. In this one, there's a little keychain, a coin, a little Mickey Mouse. Okay, it says Tyler the Turtle. I'm a cash buddy. Please log me with a website and move me to another cache. Found this one. This is the first one that I found. Let's We're open it up. for a geocache in a graveyard. I'm a little scared. Me too. I'm staying here. Who would hide a geocache in a graveyard? It's in, it's in the woods. An abandoned church. This is hella creepy. Like, there's just a geocache in the middle of a trail in the woods like, next to a graveyard. And there's just an abandoned church. Like, this is hella creepy. Imagine the geocache is literally like a gravestone. I will literally die. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. This is creepy. It's just a long ass trail. No, this is where it should say, watch. Creepy. Most of them look really old. Oh, this is really scary. Me filming just in case we get robbed or murdered for the vlog that I can't edit because I'll be dead. This is very scary. Oh, there's a lake. Okay, now I feel a lot better. Yeah. Are we getting closer? Looks like it's the end of the trail, no? Like it's oh not. God, so <gasps> Whoa! Look how Yay, pretty I feel it is. so. I feel so much better now. Oh, this is pretty. Hi guys. Say hi, William. Hi. So we just went geocaching for literally like the whole day. It was so so much fun. Found a lot of them today, so it was fun. Um, and then we stopped at this surf shop, and I got. It's basically a pearl. It opens up and there's a pearl and a clam or oyster. No oyster. Okay. There's a pearl and an oyster over here and then there's a necklace over here. So you literally, if you can see, there's literally an oyster in here with a pearl in it. You, you literally get it out and then you put it in the necklace. So I think that's really cute. And then these are the possible different color pearls you could get. There's cream, which stands for happiness, peach for love, lavender for wisdom, and gold for wealth. Got the one that's called Double Dolphin Freedom Pearl, and it's a real pearl, that's really cool. Right from the oyster, which is crazy. And then it says, Raising the earliest Greek gods throughout ancient and medieval history, pearl has been recognized as one of the most precious divine gifts. Indeed, it symbolizes mystery and mystique since the beginning of human beings' history because it's accepted universally as a symbol of honor and it may represent a wish waiting to come true. Each pearl must remain within the shell until being opened by the very special person. Only then will it reveal its unique beauty. Various colors of pearl can be chosen. So those were all the colors that I read you before. So let's get this opened up. This is cool. I've seen these before, but I never got one. Ever. Uh, so we should try them. This is what you have to get the oyster open with. Oh. People make wishes while God creates pearls. May your special wish always be granted. Aw. This is kind of gross. <laughs> it comes Don't right from the seed. And you have to take it out of the actual meat stuff in it. I know. It says... Pull it. It probably just smells so bad. Thanks. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, Jesus. I think it literally took like 15 minutes for us to get this open. <laughs> Okay, 
I just got it open. Finally got it open. That's that's really gross, but we got a white pearl, which stands for health. And it's really pretty. She should be healthy, dog. I'm gonna go wash my hands and throw out the oyster, and then I'm gonna put it in the necklace. And it's really cool. They have a bunch of different necklace charms that you can choose from, and they also have bracelet ones too. So that's really cool. Okay, so you have to open up the necklace. What is so just open it like that. Yep. Yep. And get the pearly. I picked a dolphin one, but they had so many to choose from. They had like a princess carriage. They had like a bunch. In fact, my dad's making it, but yeah, that. Here's my beautiful pearl necklace. Let me stop it. Here's that. Beautiful. Let me see. Yay. <laughs>